The Mazda 6 has always been a practical family estate, but now with new engines, revised styling and more standard equipment than ever before, the Mazda 6 is taking on the likes of the Ford Mondeo and the Volkswagen Passat as a credible alternative. The interior is spacious and well equipped. Nappa leather adorn the seats in our GT Sport Nav Plus version and there's suede effect trim on the dash and door trims. The seats are comfortable and very supportive and with the amount of adjustment you get in both seats and the steering wheel, getting your optimum driving position will be easy. An 8 inch touchscreen infotainment system has the usual sat nav, phone connectivity and radio functions. In the rear there's plenty of space for your passengers with good head and leg room on offer. The middle seat is restricted by the transmission tunnel but there's plenty of feet space under the seats. The Mazda 6 Tourer has a decent boot which offers 522 litres of carrying space with the seats in place. The seat backs can be easily dropped by using the manual levers located within the boot. This increases the load area to a very generous 1,664 litres. As a solo car, the Mazda 6 Tourer is a fairly spirited drive. All the dials and the information is clear and easy to read. It gets a head-up display which incorporates speed sign recognition, your sat-nav directions, extra blind spot alerts, as well as lane keeping assistance. It's also really quiet on the motorway and it's comfortable and an easy car to drive. The light steering is precise and body roll is kept to a minimum even when cornering hard. Hitching a caravan is an absolute doddle. It gets a bird's eye 360 degrees rear camera, which makes life so much easier. Its powerful 2.5 litre engine puts out 194 PS and 258 newton metres of torque. My test fuel economy as a solo car was a decent 45.5 MPG and when towing it achieved 24.1. Overall, the Mazda 6 Tourer 2.5 GT Sport Nav Plus is still a very practical family car with lots of space and loads of standard tech.